everybody let me talk in this video about layout inflator and how we could communicate between layout and code so first of all let me suppose i have one button and this button have text show and the event show in this way and the event have it be show okay if i go to the code for this button i will see there is event i have to implement this event if i go to the code okay here we go this is my event and everything is good Whenever I write here, will be executed and someone click on the button. I want to display layout inside to us. You know, to us, we use to display message, to us, display message, but I want to display another layout. So that's mean I have to add a layout here. Let me add my resource name. Let me name it uh, show layout. You have everything should be small. Make sure. So now I have this show layout. Let me suppose I have uh, one text input for enter his name, for example, someone enter his name, and there is a button also, just just simple layout. And this button uh, say Logan, for example. I don't know why this one is this way. Okay, enter this name is Logan. Let me here. I would change something in the width. I would say okay, the width will be one hundred pt and the height will be 100 pt just just designing simple layout so this layout will have 100 pt as a height 100 pt as a as a weight so if i want to just give colorize my work so you will understand where i'm working what's my layout i would say background color let me give it uh, this color i think this color will be nice yes this is my layout that's what i want when when i want to display for user i want to display this layout from the code so we now Android to access to my layout that I work when I would say find view but ID by ID I will access to the layout I'm in. So if I'm in main activity I want to access to the button in this one, I would say okay find the view by ID for button two. This is accessing to my button. But what if I want, if I want to access to another layout? This what name it as inflator. So all you have to do say you say okay layout and layout inflator. I would name it my layout inflator. Then you say get layout inflator. First thing you define this line. Then you define a view. When you want to access any view, I want to access some view. I would say it view view one. Then how I access to the view, I would say flator dot inflate. I will tell you more what this mean. I would say r dot layout dot the uh, layout I want to inflate. This is show layout. Then I pass now the second parameter. So what this two line mean? As I told you, um, I want to access to another layout and different in different layouts, show layout. So first to access to the different layout, you have to do this two line of code. First of all, you define lay your layout inflator. That's mean, hey, I want to communicate with another layout. Then you say, okay, I, the layout that I want communicate with is this layout. Then so this one inflate, make you communicate with another layout and take it and or bring it as a view so now this view will have the second layout so if you see what i have in the second layout as second layout here i have for example this edit text i could access to the edit text very easy way so just let me go here i would say okay i have edit text then i would say edit text a oh, cool i would say edit text you cannot do directory find the view by id you know why? Because find view by ID will, will look for IDs in your activity, will look for IDs here. So I want to look for IDs here. So make sure you pass the view that you want to search with. And I will say, okay, view one dot find view by ID, look for R dot ID dot the ID name. Well, then ID name, it is edit text. So I could access to that ID. Now you could add, add text to set text, for example, set text. Hey, welcome. For example, add in text. Now, okay, I have all the inflator. I want to display this inflator. Now I understand how to get inflator and how to communicate and how to set that. I want to display it in the, for example, in two as. So I first I to have to define two as, two as equal a new two as. Then after I define my two as, then I give it make sure get application contents. I send it get application contents. Then the second thing I say, okay, uh, to us do it set view, which view I want to display, set view, the view that I want to display is this one, view one, 
and view on having all these data what the next I'm sure the next is how much time I want to display it so you could say okay to us dot set uh, set duration make sure it will be to us dot long term you could also add another terms for for uh, the place where you want to display the your to us for example to us dot set the graffiti uh, so where I want to display my layout for example I would display the graffiti dot center I want for example center for the center I want to display center vertical center horizontal for example I want to do center vertical I would then I passed the offset will be 0 in x and 0 in y offset that's great I have to everything now to us the show there you go now if I run it I have everything ready I could communicate with another layout and I bring it in my layout so here you go show see he show you another layout you see here the supply login so what this code do for us this code do for us is communicate with another layout bring it as a code then we set some data in that layout then display it in front of us and this what you will show what you'll see next video in next video when you talk with uh, this video. Thank you for watching and see you next.